Yes! <laughs> I just got a Nike sponsorship. <laughs> I'm a lady. Oh no, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Bye, Nike. Uh. <sighs> Hello. I'm from Sweden. This is how I wake up every day. I really don't want to slag off Dylan Mulvaney. I don't. He seemed he, she, it, they, them, other. I don't know. But he, he, she, them. He, this person, this individual, this thing, behaves exactly as someone who has no idea what a woman is. Right? Like Keir Starmer, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Opening joke! Ooh. <coughs> yeah, people are having a go at Dylan uh, saying, you know, you can't advertise a sports bra because you're not a proper woman. But what else is he going to advertise from Nike? I mean, he can't advertise Nike shoes because he's got a damaged soul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the hate! But it's about grabbing people's attention, right? That's what you have to do, activism and stuff. We got, did you have a nice Easter, by the way? Three of you, good. The rest of you, the rest of you atheists, no, we didn't. I had a great Easter in Sweden. We celebrated our Lord and Savior, Greta Thunberg, and um, <laughs> gave her an egg, how dare you? <laughs> Locally produced. Boop, boop, boop. No, no, no. But activism is important. You have to grab people's attention, right? I mean, you got you. What's this? Stop oil. Just stop Just oil is called, right? Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of activism going on. People gluing themselves to roads and works of art and stuff. And first time I heard about Just Stop Oil, it was some muse. I saw a clip from a museum. I thought it was an art, artist student kind of group saying Just Stop Oil Painting. I thought it was a <laughs> young critic. Stop oil painting. Watercolors is so much better. So, you know, Sotheby's in 10 years' time. How much do I get for this lovely Picasso? With one student attached. <laughs> Skeleton with blue hair. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you about my favorite activist couple. This is all true. You can Google them, but not now. After the gig. <laughs> they exist. They live in Norway. It's a Norwegian couple, and they have, they have sex online to save the rainforest. <laughs> and they're here tonight. No, they're not here. <laughs> It's true, and their organization is called Fuck for Forest. Isn't that fantastic? So, you know, use that excuse if someone, you know, say, you know, it's, it's for a good cause, right? If you're at home playing with yourself and someone walks in, <gasps> what are you doing? It's for the planet! <laughs> I'm an activist! <laughs> yeah, I can see that, very active. <laughs> it's true, it's a new thing, it's a charity, Wank for Welfare, <laughs> it's a new thing. Everything's just weird now. This, this, this new lovely Channel 4 show with adults showing their knobs to children. That's just normal, isn't it? Hello, kids, you can look like this. Of course you can touch. Yeah, before the commercials. You could, oh. <laughs> isn't that weird? And that's considered normal now. And if you object, people say, why are you so filled with hate? Embrace the diversity. Embrace the love. Embrace the testicles. Embrace... Everything... I feel, you know, I'm the one looking over my shoulder now saying this. This feels weird. As if I'm the abnormal one. It feels like you're part of an underground resistance movement. Isn't that weird? Yeah. You feel, uh, exactly. I mean, I'm looking over my shoulder. Is this... I think this weird... Shh, quiet! You know, in the old days, perverts and pedos, they, they used to hide under a bridge somewhere with trench coats. <laughs> they used to hide. Now there's yeah, Channel 4, prime time. Ah. <laughs> Not the BAFTAs, but PAFTAs, Progressive Awards. They're going to win everything. You know, they, the pedos are coming now. There's still room on that patchy flag, I'm telling you. The big P is waiting in the wings. <laughs> it's coming. They used to hide, you know, under bushes or in bushes or under bridges, you know, at night. <laughs> Hello, I like underage. Yes, yeah, same here. Ha ah, shh. You know, like Macbeth. When shall we three meet again? <laughs> I brought a toad. I brought a toddler. <laughs> shh, keep it down. But now I have to do that. I'm, d I'm the one. I'm not, I'm not into kids. I'm just saying I... <laughs> Cut this bit out. <laughs> My sponsorship. <laughs> but you know, I'm the, I'm the one doing the whispering. I, I had a coffee with a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago. And I just said, to him, isn't it weird with, you know, isn't it just slightly, tiny bit weird with 
adults twerking in front of five-year-olds. Shh, keep it down, people can hear us. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the whole point. <laughs> Why should I do this? Like I'm the fucking, you know, resistance during the Second World War. And another thing, I don't like women with penises. Do you want to get arrested? <laughs> Before I go, two plus two is still four, right? <laughs> We've never met. <laughs> I, I'm gonna do, leave you with uh, final, some final uh, jokes here, because I've been trying for months to write, you know, jokes that sort of captures the, you know, the zeitgeist, right? And the, the culture wars and the woke movement and the identity and gender and bring everything together in, in a sort of in a nice joke. I'm trying, so here's the final joke. I've been working for months. A man walks into a bar. Define man. <laughs> yes. yeah. Can I do one more? Yes. A woman walks into a bar. Kill the turf! <laughs> yeah, ladies, what are they on about? Final one. A man walks into a bra. <laughs> Good for her. You've been lovely and bubbly. I've been to be a special. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>